guys, we are back with another exciting episode. Uh, I got my boy Rufus over here, and we are headed to do some pond fishing today. The weatherman projected torrential rainstorms throughout the entire day, so we're not gonna be able to roll any, I'm not gonna be able to roll any audio on the GoPro, but I am limited to the rods I brought. A lot of them are locked up in my dad's shop with the boat, but I do have a musky rod, and I actually, did, actually had a Huddleston swim bait at home just lying around, so that's what I picked up, and that's what we're gonna be throwing today. Not expecting many bites, but hopefully the big ones. It should be a fun time, guys. Oh, Nolan's got a jig, so maybe maybe I'll be throwing a uh, three ace football head jig on a ultra ultra heavy musky rod. I also do have a rattle trap rod that was from in my, inside my car. So if I do get bored with this Huddleston, I may just switch over to a rattle trap. We'll see, but it should be a fun day. Hopefully, we can catch some big bass in that big swim bait. He's gonna be throwing a jerk bait and top water, so top water probably not the best option today with all the rain. But we're headed out in the torrential rainstorms. It is windy, fish should be pushing up, we should be catching them, so let's go do it. I got him guys, I got him. I got the tank, I got the tank. Anything weedless, we'd li Oh! That was insane. Jeez, that was crazy. We just saw this fish bust on something, and then he just came out of nowhere. Look at that Hardelson down his throat. That was awesome. All right, guys, so we're gonna switch ponds, I think. Uh, you guys probably got no footage. I don't even think I'm gonna post a video at this point. But we can hope that this GoPro wasn't fogged up the entire time. I did end up catching one of those fish on the Huddleston, which was pretty sick. We saw it bust, flipped right over there and stuck them. It was kind of unproductive fishing the baits we had just because of all the grass. We did end up catching some fish though. So we are now headed to another pond. There shouldn't be nearly as much grass so we can actually work our baits. What's this bag doing here? I have no idea. <laughs> That hurt. Oh! oh, my knee. That's like a hole. Okay. Yeah. He's throwing a jerk bait. I'm gonna just keep with this huddle stand. He'll probably catch a lot more fish. Maybe even have a better chance of catching a big one, but it'd be something if I caught a big one on this thing. <laughs> I just scared Nolan there. Look at that rainbow, guys. That's pretty. I thought for sure we would actually catch some fish here. All right, guys. Well, I switched over to the rattle trap here. That huddle said just wasn't getting any sort of bites, so... We also switched ponds, it's just right across the street. The low pressure system with all these rain clouds and the rain we've had, we thought the fish would be biting left and right, but it doesn't seem to be the case whatsoever. Oh, giant dude. This is a good fish right here. Three pounder, chunky, right on the bank. Oak the rattle trap. Ooh, that was awesome. As soon as it hit the water, he smacked it just out of reaction. I literally felt flat. Really? Uh, I got one. Tiny. Well, that's a little smaller than that last one. <laughs> a lot smaller. Look at that thing. We just went from big brother to infant. We need big mama, don't we? This is not how you guys hold the bass, by the way. It looks like a little, like one of those dinosaurs, those dinosaurs that spread their wings. Dude, that one, geez, cranked it. That's a good one. 
Thanks. It's a pretty good one. I'm feeling some head shakes. Oh, he's running. How big is this fish, dude? Is the question. Oh, big. giant, giant, guys. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Another good three and a half. That's like a four pounder. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Thick. Woo, mama. That's a tank. What the heck? That's a five pound stud right there. Dang, look at that thing. Keep him out of the water any longer though. Hold on. We gotta get a photo of this puppy. That's a giant. Older weather. All right, we are on the windier side here. Wind is such a beneficial factor this time of the year. Not only does it, you know, get the bass moving, but it churns up that bait, which is very important to them actually feeding. So we're gonna stick to the windier side here. That's where the fish was positioned right around here. Not too far off the shore. He just smoked it. Fish feed differently from different angles. Like we're gonna fish this area. I'll probably end up casting to the same area. Like, I mean, 10 different times, but they're all gonna be at different angles. That's a big thing that people just don't really understand that fish feed from all different angles or pointed different directions. And a lot of fish don't feed the first time they see a specific lure or bait or any type of fish cross their face they're gonna they're gonna have to see it once or twice and then react to it there's one it's not a big one but another quality fish right there on the rattle trap look how white they are that was sweet I've literally cast it like like I was saying, like that's just a different angle. I've cast it to that little bubbler there like five, six different times. Now I finally just got the right angle on this fish and he clocked that rattle trap. All right guys, this is why you don't own nice pairs of shoes. At least why I don't a nice, own a nice pair of shoes. But we're gonna wrap up today's episode on that small fish I just caught. But it was, needless to say, it was a good day of fishing. I caught that big one on a rattle trap. Apparently they are chasing fall bass or fall fall baits now in uh illinois so that's always a plus a good transition from summer to fall pattern is always fun from you know deep fishing to catching fish on moving baits even with the rain we were fortunate enough to get out and actually catch some fish so uh, i encourage you guys to do the same even if it is raining and not the most ideal conditions it is still a good and fun time but hopefully you guys enjoy this episode we'll, get, we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching Thank you.